612 Chef here. Today we're featuring some Feller's Ranch Wagyu ground beef. We're gonna do something special with it. We're gonna make some beef kofta with a tomato and cucumber salad, lots of warm spices. We're gonna serve this in a grilled pita. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. So stay tuned. All right, let's make some seven spice. We got some nice warm spices, a little allspice, some coriander, a little cinnamon, black pepper, ground cloves, cumin, ground nutmeg. Here we got our Feller's Ranch Wagyu ground beef. We're gonna mix in one medium diced onion and then about a half a cup of chopped mint, scallions, and flat leaf parsley. Next, toss in some of that seven spice we mixed up. Some more cumin, a little more cinnamon, some coriander, Cayenne pepper, you do that to taste, and some kosher salt and pepper. Want to mix that up real well? Use your hands, that's the best tools God gave you. Divide that into four equal parts, and then we're gonna make four sausage shaped patties and smash those out. If you get a nice oblong shape, those are ready for the grill. All right, next I'm gonna chop up a bunch of mint here. You notice. I roll that mint up, makes it much easier to chop, and it takes just turning it two directions to get a nice fine chop on that mint. Next, slice up four nice scallions. Then we wanna peel, seed, and dice one medium cucumber. Okay, why do we seed it? We want to take all that extra water out. We don't want our salad to be all watery. We don't want it to water down that beautiful olive oil and lemon dressing that we make for it. So we just take a spoon and scrape those seeds right out. So you end up with basically like a cucumber canoe. All right, then we go ahead and dice those up. That's about a 3 8 inch by 3 8 inch dice. You want those pieces nice and even makes a much more attractive salad that way next here's a little trick I learned from Rachel Ray years ago take your tomatoes put them between two lids deli lids container lids whatever run your knife right through the middle and you've got perfectly split tomatoes this is such a great hack I teach this to all my cooks next throw in about three quarters of a cup of the chopped parsley, mint, and scallions. I'm gonna mix that up. Add in approximately a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Make sure you use a good one. Don't use a cheap olive oil here. Squeeze the juice from one lemon. Get all that juice out. We add in a little dried oregano some kosher salt and pepper and then we just mix that up we're gonna set that aside for later a little Greek yogurt toss in some of that mint parsley mixture and you're ready to go okay we're gonna get these kofta on our grill it's nice and hot and ready to go for us Just look at that crust. These are gonna be amazing. I should mention it was about 17 degrees outside while I was cooking these, so we got a lot of steam coming off the griddle. But the monument griddle performed admirably. Okay, now that we got those coughed off, we're gonna give a quick sear on our pita, get those nice and warmed up so they're super pliable okay time to build we're gonna put in our kofta we're gonna top that with our beautiful cucumber tomato salad 
and then some of that Greek yogurt with the parsley, mint, and scallions in it. Build it just like a taco. This was gorgeous. You can also add in some crumbled feta cheese. I personally don't care for it, so I left it up. Okay, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe for more chef tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching.